out there. So you wonder why Kareem Abdul-Jabbar always gave LeBron James a side eye, you know. Now with the ladies' antics with Rich Paul up here pushing all this agenda about LeBron over Michael Jordan and just talking about all kinds of sort of things about how hard this guy got and all that. Now when Magic Johnson came at Kareem and said he wouldn't be respectful of, of LeBron passing him, and that got me looking at Magic sideways, too. As much as I hold Magic Johnson in regard, remember, I did my video where I said, I let Steph Curry call himself the best point guard, but you can give me Magic Johnson as the GOAT because Magic belongs in the GOAT conversation. But when Magic said it about Kareem, I said, mm -hmm, you are, I said, you got all his agenda because you politic with everybody. And that worries me about Magic because he ain't never really spoke out about too much. Got much respect for his game, his business savvy, and thank God he's still alive. However, He's always been a politician with Buddy and everything. But he came wrong with Kareem. Now, Kareem can throw you off with certain things he says and does. But when he look at you sideways, he got just cause. And I know that deep down, he looks at LeBron James as a tacky turkey, lacking tact and class. That's one of the biggest gripes I have with LeBron James. He's one of the 10 greatest players, although he's on my bottom 10. But he's one of the greatest players and his impact and career and all that. However, he's just tacky. And he's so needy and he needs so much attention. Look at me, look at me, look at me. He's like Rob De Niro and this boy's life with Leonardo DiCaprio. And um, um, I can't think of the actress right now, but um, Ellen Barkin, yeah. At the end, when they got upside De Niro's head, he goes, what about me? What about me? What about me? Because that's all LeBron James is. And, Le and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar will look at him sideways because he came from war. Has show some dignity. Just act like you've been there. Have some humble pie in your life. And I know, hey, look, records are meant to be broken, and we can debate this and that. But as far as if the, you want to talk about the GOAT Tacky Turkey Award, oh, it's LeBron James. He might be the tackiest turkey overindulgent to look at me, him and Aaron Rodgers and Beyonce and a few other Kanye. There's a few others I put in there. Jay-Z, too. You notice them, but they're all friends, too. Just saying, hey. <laughs> A birds with feather tend to flock together. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shadow if you like them. My peace.